In this video, we are going to learn how to solve trigonometric equations using a calculator. Now, the instructions say to use a calculator to solve each equation on the interval 0 to 2 pi. So you don't need to worry about general formulas, we just need to figure out where along our unit circle will we get this value. And express any solutions in both radians and degrees rounded to two decimal places. So first, I'm going to solve tangent of theta is equal to negative 2. Now, there's no easy unit circle angle that will solve this, so we need to resort to a calculator. Now, I'll help visualize where this is at. Tangent is often known as y over x. So if you think of negative 2 over 1, we can kind of think of the point 1 comma negative 2 as one of the locations. So uh, 1 comma negative 2, but right here on the unit circle. And it could have also been thought of as 2 over negative 1, so the point negative 1, comma 2, or even up here. Oops, that should have gone through the origin. But now we have these two angles that are possible solutions. We have to figure out what the angles are. So now we can use that inverse trig function I was talking about. So theta can equal tangent inverse of negative 2. So tangent inverse of negative 2. And when I plug this in, I will get... Theta is equal to negative 1.11, one, one, if I'm using two decimal places. And if I put that into degree mode, and plug the same exact thing in, I can get negative 63.43. Now there's one thing wrong with this is that that is not between 0 and 2 pi, or in the case of the angle, 0 degrees to 360 degrees. Now, the reason why that's an issue is because these are negative, so I need to get them into that first quadrant. So what's really nice is I can just add pi to this angle, because if this is a negative angle, it's probably right here, that rotation, negative 63 degrees. And knowing that the, the period of tangent being pi, I can take that angle, I can add pi to it, or I can add 180 degrees. And that will land me at this angle right here in the, in the second quadrant. And if I want to get the angle here, it's in the fourth quadrant, but rotated the other way, I'm going to add 2 pi, or... 360 degrees to figure out where in the unit circle it would be. So to get both of those solutions, first I'll start with the solution for radians. I can take negative 1.11, add pi to it, so negative 1.11 plus pi, And it'll give me negative, or it'll give me positive 2.03. So that's one solution. And my other solution would be that same angle, negative 1.11 plus 2 pi. Adding another pi to it. So negative 1.11 plus 2 pi. So 5.17. So those would be the two answers in radians. Now if I want to find these in degrees, I'll do something very similar is now I'll add 180 to negative 63.43. So negative 63.43 plus 180, a half rotation, gives me 116.57 degrees. And if I take negative 63.43 and I add 360, a full rotation to get the positive version of that angle, I'll get 296.57 degrees. And that's how you can get all the solutions. So 
On the left, that's radians, and that's degrees on the right. So now let's look at cosine of theta. 4 cosine of theta plus 3 is equal to 0. So I want to get that trig function by itself. So I'm going to subtract 3 and then divide by 4. So negative 3 fourths. And to start getting my solution, I'll take the cosine inverse of negative 3 fourths. Right now I'm in degree mode, so it'll give me my degrees first. And good news, this is a positive angle between 0 and 360, so I'm already part way there. 138.59 degrees. And then in radians, it's the same entry, and I get 2.42, which 2 pi is about 6.28, so we're definitely still within that range, that domain, but there could possibly be another solution. So let's look at where negative 3 fourths cosine would be. That would mean we would, go, we would go left, we would go uh, left 4 and then up 3, so where cosine would be negative. So about right here-ish. More left than up. And then the same angle also exists in the third quadrant. Same x value at negative 3 fourths for x. That's two solutions. One's above this 180 mark, one's below it. So I need to find out what this other solution would be down here. Now the best way to do this is I know this rotation here is 2.42. And a full ro and a half rotation would be pi. So to find out what this rotation would be here, which should equal this one, I just have to subtract 2.42 from pi and then add that on to this solution. So I would do pi minus 2.42, which will be 0 0.72. And then I'll add that to pi to get my final solution. So pi plus 0 0.72, which will be 3.86. And I can do something very similar with my degree answer. But if I want to save some time, if I can remember my conversion, since I found one already, I can just do 3.86 times, if you remember the conversion, it's pi divided by oops, 180 divided by pi. And that's the conversion from radians to degrees. And I get my degree angle to be 221.16. Which I could have also done in a very similar fashion. Again, if I would have done 180 minus 138, just to find that angle right there between the upper angle and the x-axis, I would get 41.41. Add that to 180, and again, 221.41, which is relatively close. I did have to round here, but it is another way to get to that answer. Now let's do the last example. We have 2 cosecant of theta minus 3 equals 0. Let's get cosecant of theta by itself. So you have cosecant of theta is equal to 3 halves, which using the fact that cosecant and sine are reciprocals, I can get that sine of theta is equal to 2 thirds so theta is equal to sine inverse of 2 thirds. So plug in that into my calculator. This will be in radians first. 2 divided by 3. I'll get theta is equal to 0 0.73, which is definitely between 0 and 2 pi. And then switching over to degree mode. 
and do the same entry, I can also get 41.81 degrees. So again, imagine where that's at. It's in the first quadrant just below the 45 mark. Now I'll put this in red so it sticks out. And I want the same angle that happens to be in the second quadrant. Now to figure that out, I would need to figure out what this angle would be here. Which, since these are symmetric, this angle should equal that angle right there. So what I can do is take my 0.73, which would be this angle here. Which you can see why these are almost similar angles. One's 0.73, one's 0.72. But if this angle here is 0.73, just like I found out. That one here on this side is 0.73. And if I take that away from a half rotation, I should end up at that location. So I can do pi minus 0 0.73 and get my solution of 2.41. The same thing here, 180 degrees, this red angle is also known as 41.81 degrees. So on this side it should be 41.81 degrees. Just take away that from 180. And I get my other solution as 138.19 degrees. And again, if I wanted to, if I had the degrees answer first, I could have also just converted that by multiplying by pi over 180. Which would give me that 2.41 for my radian measure. So many ways to get about that answer. Once you have one, you can find the others just by converting. And that is how you solve trigonometric equations using a calculator.